Hello Leo and welcome to your Avalon Rituals Valentine's special. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in and this time also in pink uh, my little fairy self for you guys as a little uh, Valentine's treat. <laughs> I also thought I'm gonna do something different today something special again and you see already what I'm gonna do here maybe. Um, last time I smudged you guys and I um, yeah, you were basically part of the cleansing ritual and I thought it's quite nice to do something before the reading so I'm gonna do the singing bowling and um, for you guys to relax to tune into this reading and uh, if you don't want to relax just skip this part now and um, go directly straight to the reading if you want to relax just close your eyes and enjoy all right so you know what <laughs> you guys are my fifth reading fourth fifth and <laughs> I have done this now every time like every 10 minutes I'm gonna do a little singing bowling and singing thing and uh, I'm super relaxed I hope you guys are now too so let's have a look at your reading at the center of the reading we have love so love but also walking away from something so it might be that you're leaving uh, a love behind um, yeah it might be that you're leaving one love behind here and um, let me have a, a little look or it might be that you because I just checked the other cards already um, it could also be that something in this relationship you move away from something that you maybe uh, leave behind now uh, something that was emotionally not fulfilling anymore so maybe there have been some issues and you are now walking away from that but I do think for the most of you guys it is about leaving an old love an old relationship and you do want the new beginning and that's why I just thought I needed to have a quick look into the other cards of the reading. Uh, we have the Fool card here and that talks about a new beginning. That's in your position of the mind, of the thought and it feels like you do want the new beginning. End of story. Uh, so it does feel you leave an old relationship behind, you turn away from it and you are ready for the new beginning. We have in your heart the moon so there might be something still in the shadows some things that you are not aware of yet um, it could uh, also indicate that um, since this is the card of the heart and in the moonlight you can't see everything as clear as in the sunlight so it might be that related to this uh, situation there will come things up from the from the depth of your emotions of your feelings um, but if it comes up just don't suppress it uh, don't, don't suppress it but uh, let it flow through you um, so yeah I do feel like there might be still subconscious things or emotions that are hidden something that you maybe cannot see yet clearly um, that might come that might come up and we have two different cards in the next position we have the nine of fire and that is um, where the nine of fire talks about you have been through quite a lot of battles uh, you are still standing but you are also wounded and bruised um, 
but we have this interestingly combined with the ace of fire and i that i do feel like this is about leaving the relationship um a love behind and there are still that is probably what is coming up because that's in the near future card so it might be that every now and then there might be things from the depth of your subconscious or your emotions or your psyche or whatever that is related to this past relationship which is uh, coming up and reminding you on past wounds but also what we do have here already is uh, the ace of fire and that is a new spark a new passion a new maybe a new fire a new love coming in something that is really exciting uh, maybe something creative um, whatever this is this is a spark giving by the divine and it is um, igniting the fire so that's a really beautiful card to have here as well and i do also feel with your card uh, being the world you are now ready to complete the old cycle um so you're yeah you're leaving something and you close the one book and you now have completed this old book or old chapter and now you're moving forward and that's a beautiful card also a very peaceful a very harmonious card to have in your position um in your environment is the messenger of earth so i do think let me check this is the first card that would indicate that you might deal with a um, earth sign so uh, that could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Uh, so this is the energies that are like surrounding you. So maybe this past person was um, an earth sign or as there is already also a new, there is a new start and there is also the Ace of Fire, which is a new spark. Um, it might be that you are dealing with an earth sign now, that this is the new thing already um also of course the messenger of earth is about stability about manifesting so that if that is not a person it could just relate to um like um really wanting to create something that is really solid and stable um maybe the other thing that you left was very instable and there were ups and downs and um um, yeah, you just felt like you couldn't build with that person. It wasn't possible to build with this person and now you want to build and you want something stable and that's that's the environment, uh, the energies. So your hope and fears. Well, um, first of all, that could indicate that that could indicate a fire sign uh, a, a, a water sign, sorry. So the page of water and we have the two of earth here. So it might be that there is a, a water sign. Um, oh yeah, which would be Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio um, that you're dealing with. Um, the page of water is also, it's a feeling of a flirt, of something, uh, it's a feeling of something that just started. And um, so there could be a new flirt coming in, a new love interest, uh, someone who yeah, that's the beginning of a romance, really. Um, could be that with your current partner, it feels like at the beginning again. And this is why this is now here. Uh, in general, I do feel like for, for many of you, it's about leaving one situation. Uh, but I do feel for some, it could be uh, that you already have someone new because of the eyes of fire and... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the new start and the world. So it, it might be that you... It might be that you already have someone new, so that might be the new person. Um, and this is about wanting to make something work. Uh, also about balancing things. So I do feel like for some of you guys, there is already a new flirt coming in or is already there. And you really want to make this work. And this is why this is in the position of uh, hopes and fears. And you know what? Um, the outcome of this situation is the seven of earth. It's so interesting. I pulled this card now the third time. Uh, Taurus and Leo had this. No, you're Leo. <laughs> Cancer had this. Uh, and now you guys have this as well. You in a different position though. 
um, so this is this talks about um, yeah everything has its time and sometimes you just need to let things grow uh, you can't push things you can't uh, you, if you plant a seed you can't pull it out of the ground and hope it will grow uh, through your pulling uh, the only thing you can do is just water it and make sure it has the, the make sure it has the right condition uh, conditions the conditions it needs to flourish and grow and then let it grow and that's that's actually a really beautiful that's that's a really beautiful outcome here so yeah Leo I do feel like you're letting go of some old uh, relationship um, of an old relationship I do feel for a lot of you there might already be someone new um, and yeah as I've just said just let it grow um, prepare the space uh, which is also not the space around but also within you um, that the conditions are the best that you can have and uh, then just let it grow and see how it goes and how it flows so I hope you resonated with the reading if so please leave me a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel if you want your own personal reading just drop me a message and um, yeah I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and see you next time